2015 Subaru Forester CVT transmission drain and fill. I just finished up performing the drain and fill. Here's your drain plug, 14 millimeter socket. You remove that, it'll drain about four quarts. Once done, go ahead and tighten that up. And then you have your fill port on the side, which is here. This one, which requires a eight millimeter socket which is right here number eight and then I used a small transfer pump and pumped about four quarts of OEM Subaru CVT2 transmission fluid until it drained out Then I tightened this cap back up I started the vehicle shifted it through gear slowly put it back in part turned it off came back to the drain plug Drained another four quarts or so, put this back on, torqued it to spec, came back over here, filled it up, closed it, ran it through gears. Now we need to set it to temperature, which should be 95 to 113 Fahrenheit. Once we achieve that, we're going to come back with the engine running, open up that cap, and let all the excess fluid drain out until it stops flowing, and then we'll reinstall the plug. And torque it to spec. Vehicle is up to temperature. This is the X Tool D8. I went under transmission, live data, ATF temperature. We're at 105. The vehicle is off, so I'll go ahead and start it. Then we'll go back underneath, open up the plug, and let the excess fluid drain out. We'll continue to let it drain until it's a drip and then we'll reinstall the plug, torque the spec, and then we'll do the transmission a relearn procedure. I've already completed two drain and fills. I got the temperature up to the 105 degrees for the transmission, opened up the fill plug, allowed the fluid to drain out until it was dripping, reinstalled the plug and torqued it. Now the last step will be to perform the automatic transmission relearn procedure. I have not done it yet, but I noticed the scanner does have it. This is the X-Tool D8. Let's go to special functions. It's actually under gearbox match. Select Subaru. I do have the ignition on, engine off, transmission control system. Special functions. So we are going to do clear automatic learning values. Yes, clear values. Clear complete, turn off ignition, switch and execute learning again. Okay, so let's do learning, automatic learning mode, turn off headlights, air conditioner, eco switch, does not have, sport mode, sport, okay, lift up the vehicle and put the parking brake on, car is already lifted up on jack stands, parking brake is on, okay, Turn the IG off. Should be ignition off. Start the engine. Turn eyesight off, which I do not have. So start it. Okay. Fully depress the brake pedal and keep it. 
once the engine starts, change to D when the engine reaches steady state. Our idle's a bit high. Go ahead and go to D. Okay. Continue stepping on the pedal. Prepare for learning. Now it's showing transmission system. Fully to press brake pedal and keep pressing. Shift control. System learning in progress. Fully to press brake pedal. Keeping it. Range goes to reverse. Okay, it's doing the learning. Neutral. Turn ignition off. Start engine. And then press OK. And it says it's completed. OK. Go to park. I think that's it. I'll give it a test drive and see if I notice a difference.